tell you. Hello, hello. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in to Tuning Wheel Tarot. I'm going to do a collective uh, read here as we enter into the new moon in Pisces tomorrow. Probably this evening. Probably already for some folks. So, Spirit, what collective messages do we have today to share? Thank you. Breakthrough. Okay. So this, uh, let this be a, a meditation card for you. Um, as, uh, and you know, it's interesting, the, the imagery here, because with this breakthrough and a new moon, a new moon is a time to set new intentions for yourself. Uh, you know, maybe, you know, you do a vision board. Uh, you know, that's setting an intention. Uh, maybe you have some, some new goals to smash this month, you know. So, <clears throat> but here, what I'm seeing is that, uh, you know, it's almost like the brain <laughs> upside down and this brain is creating all this activity and, you know, it's kind of coming down the cortex here. Is that the cerebral cortex? And then it's just going to smash out, right, in this explosion of white light. So when you think about the divinity that you have within yourself, think about the white light um, and that purity. And so if you focus on that, if you use this uh, for some meditation, um, I think that will ha may help you uh, with any breakthrough that you may have uh, this month, setting that intention on the new moon that is arriving, uh, astrologically speaking, in Pisces. Let's see, Spirit, what do we have here? For the new moon in Pisces, for the collective, please. Sometimes the shuffling just goes a little haywire just like it is like is this mercury or retrograde okay here we go thank you <clears throat> temperance nine of swords five of pentacles and at the bottom of the deck here we have uh you know the two of cups which is a uh, nice um, I'll, I'll leave that up here for you that you can see that uh oh, hmm. Could be Sagittarius um, with any breakthrough you know temperance here is about being in balance and about having patience so <clears throat> you know some folks think you know you're gonna be an overnight sensation you know that really just doesn't happen I mean people work for years to achieve things um, you know Julia Child didn't become um, famous until in her later years, even though she enjoyed a love of cooking and did a lot of work for a long time before she ever appeared on television. So, you know, um, just keep that in mind as you're meditating on um, any breakthroughs for yourself in this new moon. The Nine of Swords here, it's time to put these worries to rest. Um, and especially when we're focusing on a breakthrough, uh, this person has, has been, has been disturbed. It's these swords are, <laughs> it's like in the waking life and the dream life. And that's really no way to live. So think about putting those behind. I'm sure that's something that's probably on somebody's like, yeah, I think about that all the time. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I know easier said than done, <clears throat> uh, but maybe, uh, you know, introduce a little bit more meditation. Um, you know, uh, new moon is also a good time to charge or uh, cleanse your crystals, um, things of that nature um, that can help. And, you know, this is a, a card, and when I said nature, you know, this has like almost all the colors of nature here in this rainbow. So um, as we're coming in from spring, 
Um, and you know, that's kind of what this Five of Pentacles is looking like to me, is like a flower that's starting to bloom. So, you know, it, it may have been a long, cold winter type thing, but you know, look at what has been growing. Look at what has been building. All of these, all of these things that we've been, you know, maybe hold up in our minds and bodies and, you know, literally indoors, like over the wintertime, maybe it's time for to start releasing some of that 